Do you start your day with a cup of aromatic coffee? There are so many forms of coffee for coffee lovers to choose from. But first, what do we need to do before we can enjoy a cup of coffee? The answer lies in the use of separation techniques. Separation techniques use the properties of different substances in a mixture to separate them. We can then use these different substances individually. Take coffee, for example. Hot water is added to the coffee grounds to dissolve the soluble substances within, forming a mixture of dissolved coffee liquid and insoluble coffee grounds. This mixture is filtered using a coffee filter to obtain the coffee that we drink. Separation techniques are also used in the industry to ensure food safety. Permitted food colorings are additives that have been analyzed and assessed to be safe to eat in specific amounts. Non-permitted food colorings can harm our health when eaten. Food scientists study the properties of food and ingredients to make sure they are safe for us to eat. Take these candies for example. To determine if the food colorings present in these candies are safe for consumption, food scientists analyze the candies using a type of chromatography which requires a series of steps. First, the candies are blended into a powder. The powder is weighed and a solvent is added to it, forming a mixture. To speed up the dissolving process, an automated shaking machine is used. Next, the mixture undergoes a series of processes to further dissolve the substances in the candies to obtain two layers. Finally, the top layer liquid is extracted, filtered and placed into vials. The vials are then placed into the chromatography machine. Within these machines, the substances in the candies are separated via chromatography. The results from the chromatography will then be displayed on a computer. The chromatography results of the candies are compared to a standard of known non-permitted food colorings. If the food sample contains non-permitted food coloring, the food is considered unsafe for consumption and cannot be sold. Separation techniques have a wide range of applications, ranging from how we prepare our food at homes to how food is monitored for safety in the food industry. Dissolving helps us prepare the coffee we love, while filtration removes the solid coffee grounds from the coffee. Chromatography allows us to separate and identify the food colorings present in our food to determine if it is safe for consumption.